Hey guys, it's Nian here, and I am bringing you uh, the episode 9 of, of Surviving the Bronze League. I have actually decided to resurrect it, mainly because uh, I'm not having time to put together an entire series of pro casts. Because I like to get them all done in a batch, and I haven't had time to do a batch. Because if I try and spread the workload out over the week, then it gets really sort of... Like, I keep forgetting what happened in the previous game. Which means I need to go back and look over the footage of the previous game. Uh, which generally means that a lot of time is getting taken up. And we've... But however, in episode 9, we have a Zerg versus... Pro, or Protoss versus Zerg, should I say, because I'm playing the Protoss. Between Okin down on the lower corner of um, this map, which I actually like. It's one of the ones that I like because it's got nice big sort of area here for doing warp prism drops, etc. But uh, I'm macroing up. He's actually supply blocks and throwing down a spawning pool on 10. So it looks as though it'll be a fairly low number pool. He hasn't actually managed to get an overlord out yet. And is he getting... Yeah. No, he isn't actually getting an overlord now. Which makes me wonder if he knows how to get overlords. But I'm doing standard 9 pile on 12 gateway. I think he actually rolled random. So I didn't know what he was going for. So I just opened 9 pile on 12 gateway. I didn't know he was Zerg. Uh, so I didn't FFE like normal. Because FFE works. And then I get the wrong transition out of it and end up dying to billions of muters. Because I prepare for Ling Infester and muters. But uh, I'm going to scout up into the main and see nothing much other than a fairly early pool. Which, uh, well it's not fairly early at this point because he's already on 15. But uh, now I know he's Zerg, I instantly get a forge up and prepare for Lings. Six of which are rush beginning to rush across the map. And chronoing out that zealot because zealots are exceedingly important because they absolutely own lings. They can't quite stutter step like stalkers or force field like sentries. But for sheer sort of DPS and the number of lings they can take down before they die. And I uh, hold position on it just to complete that wall off in case any lings try and do a run by. And just double power these to m and because the cannon, I don't want that to go down, and I don't want my production to go down, because that would be very bad. Finally, getting a cyber core because I was slightly distracted by my scouts. He actually scouts up into the top corner, and and I think I've just remembered the name of the map. I think it's Condemned Ridge, but uh, post in the comments if you can remember it, because I sure as hell can't. And. Nothing much happening other than lair tech and two more overlords. And he's going to try and uh, do quite a quick, well, not quick because uh, that's about the five minute mark. But I managed to actually get three of his six lings um, just by using two zealots and a photon cannon. And none of my units have lost any health whatsoever. So he decides to pull back very wisely because if he'd have gone up, it would be sure suicide. And I am beginning to get warp gate as well as him beginning to get Zerg speed, so he well, Zerg speed ling speed. Um so Lair's about to finish up, so we'll see what he decides to tech into. Normally this would be muters in my experience, but it's probably different in different leagues. Like ninety percent of the Zergs I face end up going muters once uh, their six to eight pool has just been nullified. But um Dual Extractors also suggests that it's uh, muters because muters are gas heavy. I just check round, uh, send two of my zealots out and just check round the edges for any um, baneling husks. Or, well, not baneling husks, but baneling cocoons. Because quite often uh, they'll run away with three sort of just out there to let you think that it it's they're not doing anything. And then run back up into this area and uh, baneling up. But we have an overseer morphing. And I'm actually going to expand by the looks of it, as well as uh, pump out a stalker. But there's the expansion for me, so at the moment I've got more bases than a Zerg, which is something that you don't hear very often. How many lings do we actually have out at the moment? 19, so 
and a Nidus network coming out. So he's going to try and Nidus in with this uh, Overseer. And we shall see if it works. And I should probably stop scrolling to the edge of the screen and leaving my mouse there. But uh, level 1 warp, not warp gate, level 1 um, weapons coming out as well, which should provide an additional bonus against the, uh, against uh, th all the uh, thing, all the things, against all the things. But there's the Nidus Worm. I actually hear it, and I see it because of the assimilator. The hive cluster is under and it dies. And warp gate has finished up. So, I just, and, ooh, the overseer is coming back round. Will I be able to spot it in time? I don't think I will. Nope, I'm not doing anything. I think I've definitely not spotted it, and I've not spotted the changeling either. So that could be a major mistake for me. And the lings are everywhere. Taking down probes and workers killed. It's it's going to skyrocket soon. My lings get to surround on the uh, zealots, and I did. I actually had them on attack on uh, move command, not an attack move. But I should manage to take down a good number of zerglings, and the cannon should do its part. Hopefully, I'll manage to kill off a couple more. But I think that I managed to get what level one on out before that. If we look at the micro that's going on, intense micro in the bronze league range for Okin. Whereas I'm not really doing all that much because don't really have all that much to do other than build two gateways down here. Forge is finished, but it wasn't doing anything anyway. And uh, my nexus is going to go down, as well as two pylons, which will. It might supply block me, though I doubt it. And those lings are just going to chill out by the uh, Nidus Worm, deciding not to take out my strategically placed buildings. But will those? I th I place those three zealots at the bottom of the ramp to defend against things. But what's this? I've just taken out his entire. I've just taken out his entire drone line. We go into units lost, which is for some reason not control L. Uh, we were actually pretty even on the workers killed count. In fact, I'm ahead. And I've killed one of his queens as well. That zealot's not going to do anything. And we're going to go off on a nice tour around the lair with the queen. And my three zealots actually managed to push back the charge. And they're going to begin to take out that they're going to be able to take out that Nidus Worm. This cell is going to get taken out. But, um... The two queens <laughs> transfusing each other. And, um... Managed to ha I, I managed to make one of the queens have to escape into the Nidus network. But putting up a cannon there, in case... Because if the Nidus Worm comes up, I should be able to just kill it off there pretty quickly. And that Overseer has nothing to do. And I'm just able to keep, well, just warping in things, because I've got a stable income. 300 to 0, he can't even make another drone. So, he's really stuck with what he has, which is 14 lings and 2 queens. I actually begin to think that he's got sort of a, a secret force massing, so I will probably just... Like do a quick scout up there because uh, quite often lings just filter in one by one. That that ling just gets two shotted instantly. So I don't think that anything's going to come of this sort of excursion. It's going to just going to delay the inevitable because I can just keep producing forces that completely outmass him. I begin to add on the third gate and I've basically just gone back to a starting build only at the natural instead of at um, anywhere else really. But if we try and find the Zerglings somewhere... Oh, they're all in the Nidus network. <laughs> He's trying to keep the Zerglings hidden. And I'm just checking for any hidden hatcheries. 
Will that overseer? Yes, the overseer is in range. That, 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 uh, zealot should have actually been targeted de down. And there's the GG. So, a pretty sort of boring game, sort of by some standards, but it just shows that when you get low pooled and then Nidus, you can still pull it off. And if we go to the uh, APM tab, which is that one, average bronze league APM, 37 and 44. I can't remember the shortcut for EAPM, I think it's control V. 12, that's just at the end. But I've been Nian, and this has been a very short episode of Surviving the Bronze League. I'll try to do more sort of, like, sort of solo, well not solo, but single casts, sort of like one game at a time, possibly try to get one game out a week. Not one game out a week, uh, one series out a week, and possibly a Surviving the Bronze League if I don't manage that, because Surviving the Bronze League's there best of ones instead of best of sevens or best of sixes and they're generally quite short apart from the uh, hour-long macro games that I sometimes get versus Terran which are epic um, but other than that I've been Nian, you've been watching Survive Surviving the Bronze League thank you for watching and goodbye